No, it's been incredible, man. John obviously is who he is as an instructor, and then just the, the bodies on the mat and the talent here is incredible. Man, I tap, uh, I tap Big Dan so much every day that it... All right, I'm lying about that part. It's just, I've just been trying to learn as much as I can from these guys, you know? I mean, you have a, a silver and bronze medalist and respective first ADCC. You have Gordon, obviously, John curating it all, and then all the other talent that's on the mat as well. So training is, I just looked at it all like, um, like I get a chance to learn from him is the way I look at it, you know. From here, we start great, start down towards the mat. When we come up, we see him staying on two knees, the pull is the pull through. It's gonna be our front and neck and attack. If we see on the other hand, this guy starts standing up with us. If we're gonna step behind this guy, we have to get everything going back with the side stop. And it's from positions like this that we can turn this guy forward and end up in good position. Okay, let's give it a try, fellas. It's getting close now. Uh, Nicholas has one of the toughest matches of his uh, no-gi uh, journey so far. Um, he's coming up against the great uh, Kenan Duarte, who, in my opinion, is one of the absolute top uh, grapplers in the world today, both gi and no-gi. And um, uh, he's obviously, as you all know, double gold medalist in ADCC and has a, a fantastic record. Um, I think this will be the the toughest match by far that Nicholas has had to go through so far. They do have a history and they know what it is like to grapple each other. They've gone against each other four times, but it's in the gi. In addition, there's the whole thing of how much better has Nicholas gotten since ADCC. Uh, I can attest that uh, from what I've observed in the training room, he's, he's gotten considerably better. Nicholas has been pretty active, both gi and no gi uh, since then. kainan has been very active in the gi. Well, Kaina, uh, in my opinion, he's the, it's hard to say the second best guy, but uh, he's the, one of the top three guys in the world. He's a tough competitor, we fought a few times in the Gi. The match uh, uh, were pretty much always in the same way. And, uh, but the last time we fought was uh, two years ago. So a lot of things changed. So I made this transition uh, to no Gi. Uh, I put some weight, Kaina kept winning all the tournaments that he fought. I know that Nogi is a little different for him. He has more experience than, than, than myself, so uh, I'm pretty sure he's coming very confident for this fight. And I'm also feeling great. Nicholas is a gifted athlete, one of the most brilliant and creative people I've ever seen in, in training um, and indeed in competition. But Kainan is like the consummate, when he comes out playing that A game of his, when he wants to win that gold, he comes out making very few mistakes. He comes out with tremendous physical pressure. He comes in in tremendous shape. He's got some of the best physicality in the entire game of Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, he's, a, he's a real athlete. This will be a very, very tough test for Nicholas. The geek and sometimes because uh, uh, of his style, he paced down a little bit. He like he knows how to control uh, mats. Uh, I think for this one, because of the rule set and because of this whole story that we have uh, uh, since forever, so things are kind of fighting up, and we're gonna like really 
we're gonna go against each other to see what's gonna happen. I think that is that is uh, is gonna be the main point about the fight. What has it been like uh, training or coaching Helena uh, here at New York? Uh, it's been an absolute honor. She's a great, great student. Uh, she's comes in twice a day, every day, and uh, she's very, very focused. Um, very professional, you know, people, she's so uh, focused and professional that people tend to lose track of the fact she's still a teenager, she's 16 years old. What's your expectation for her when she makes her Who's Number One debut uh, on August 10th? Uh, I think she's going to be something that, I think there's going to be a lot of eyes on that match. There's a considerable interest in, in uh, her ladies' rise. She's got a very good opponent. She has a, uh, a very talented opponent from Australia, Healy Diane. She's, uh, she looks like she's got a big future ahead of her herself. So you've got two very talented up-and-coming athletes, uh, uh, and they'll be meeting in a, what is my favorite rule set, WNO, because it gives the athletes the sufficient time to be able to work and determine. The longer the match goes on, the more skill determines the outcome. And um, uh, you've got these two outstanding athletes, both of whom working out here in Austin. And uh, both of them have done very well in the local circuit. Now they're meeting in one of the bigger professional organizations. Should be a great match. Why you ain't gonna have a camera here in a second? You keep recording me. Go ahead. <laughs>